Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing uh, how to customize your iPhone um, with the new iOS update and an iPhone like tour. Okay, I'm screen recording. So you can see my iPhone, I only have one page. I'm going to show you guys how to remove, like how to move things to your app library. Just hold down and then press the little minus button. It'll give you three options. Delete app, move to app library, and cancel. Press move to app library and it's in your app library, which, yeah, that's just an awesome update. Apps you need to get is Widget Smith and Color Widget. All you have to do to add it, it just says set widget, then hold down on your home screen there's a little add button in the corner and it will have color widgets as an option. Click whatever size you want, add widget, and it will add it to your home screen. I'm gonna show you guys how to add a widget and like edit it and add a photo. So I'm gonna use this small number six. This is how it says uh, press default widget and you can get to changing the time, the way it's set up, all that, the font, the tint color and the background color change all that all you have to do to add a photo is press photo right there S press selected photo choose a photo say i choose this one even though it's a really bad photo say choose no then just go down here press save this thing you're going to want to do press like the hold down in your home screen widget smith and whichever size i did so i just did a small size so i'm going to say add widget and if it doesn't automatically show up there just hold like press a little, no, hold down on it and edit widget and you can change it to anything you want. For example. And last but not least, how do I change my app cover? So all you need to do is press plus. You can either say, you can either search open app or you can just do scripting and open app. Now you're going to press choose color widgets. Now I'm going to go next. I'm just going to name it high. Um, now I'm going to press on that folder and press the little three buttons and it's going to say add to home screen. I'm going to click on that. Then there's a little thing right by the high and I'm going to click on that. It says choose file, choose photo, take photo. I'm going to choose a photo. Um, I'm not trying to expose my camera well. Choose, add. It's added to my home screen. And as you can tell, it's named hi, and it will directly take me into color widgets. That's the only downside is it takes you to shortcuts, then it takes you to color widgets. That's just not very, I don't think it's very usable. So whenever I work my phone, I always just click on things through app library. So it, you can get go to Pinterest and that's how you find your theme. So if you want like a white aesthetic theme, look up white aesthetic, download a whole bunch of those photos, you know, you can do it any way you want. The creativity on this is literally endless. It will just be very time consuming. So that's the basics. That's just how you do everything. I try to summarize that really quickly so you didn't have to watch a 10 minute video like everyone's making. Um, so next thing, I'm just gonna show you what's on my iPhone. So this is the what's on my iPhone portion of the video. If you don't wanna watch anymore, you can click off, but I mean, maybe just stay, give me some extra watch time, you know? Just kidding. Anyways, let's show you what's on my iPhone. So on my iPhone, on my home screen, you will see two widget smiths. And one is like macaroon and one is like Sunday 27th. It's like the calendar date. Um, my aesthetic vibe, I don't know what people would call it. I think it's like a pink aesthetic. So other than the widget smiths, then I have Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube Studio, Snapchat, App Store, and LED lights on my main home screen. I use Instagram to talk to friends and I actually have an account on there so y'all should go follow it. It is a private account but that's what it looks like. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm editing and I just realized that I didn't say what I use Pinterest for. So I use Pinterest for a majority of things. I use it for decorating my phone. I use it for quotes. I use it just to look at because it's really inspirational for art. I use it for multiple things. I don't know why I didn't say. Anyways, yeah, just wanted to clear that up. Next I have YouTube Studio, which I obviously, I use it for YouTube and stuff. If you have never seen what YouTube Studio looks like, this is like what it looks like. It tells me my 
watch time for the video, the views, and the average view duration, which mine is not very good. I need to make better content, is that what I'm saying? Um, next I have Snapchat. I'm not gonna go into Snapchat because it just has a whole bunch of usernames, but I use that to contact friends. I uh, use my app store for apps. <laughs> and then I also have LED lights, which I can change the color and the tone of my LED lights and the brightness and saturation. So those are my main apps that I use the most constantly. Next on this is my app library. I'm just gonna explain my apps and what I use them for. It's gonna be pretty quick because I don't use much of them. First I have suggestions, which is my LED lights, is that weird looking smiling face that is creeping me out. And I don't even know if that's a smiling face. Um, next I have my clock, which I use for waking up at 6 a.m. because I'm strange, but I have like a whole bunch of alarms. Kind of have an obsession. Like 6, 62, 630, 720, 7. 9, 15, 9, 17, 9, 20. Gosh. Okay. And then I have my Amaze, which I am at a pretty high level on this. Not not gonna, not to brag or nothing, even though I am bragging. I'm pretty, pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> it says level five. That's just the game mode. On classic mode, I'm on level 5,846. I barely ever play this game anymore. Um, I'm not gonna go into that app, um, but that's just my call, what I call it. Oh my goodness, Zoe, you're such a mess. So, this is my recently added, uh, I have a maze, which I've showed you. I have my Bible version app, then I have color widgets, and then I have my LED light one. I have, I need to charge my phone, that's not what I have. Google Photos kiosk, which is for printing photos at Walmart. It's just easier than connecting it because my phone is glitchy. Posito, my dad uses that to monitor me and my brother's devices. Can set time limits, can see how long you're on it, can, yeah. Shortcuts, then I have Canvas Student. It just says student, but it's Canvas. It's the school thing I'm working. It's the school thing, that makes no sense. It's the app I'm using for school. So we're using Canvas, then I have Translate. I never use that, voice memos, I sometimes use that. Widget Smith and YouTube Tracker, which basically tells me my subscribers and my watch time. And that's how long until I can get monetized and monetized means I can get paid. So, <laughs> talking really fast. Next I have social, which social has FaceTime. I never use FaceTime. I, I never FaceTime people. Google Duo, um, I've used to FaceTime friends. Um, that didn't like have an iOS device. If that makes sense. I have FaceTime friends on Google Duo, mainly during COVID. It's still COVID. During quarantine, that was when I used it. I don't really use it anymore, like at all. Um, next, I have Instagram, and I already told you about that. Messages, phone, and Snapchat. Next, I have creativity. My camera, which I used to film most of my videos. I'm sorry that the quality on this video sucks. Like my iPad not it but i wanted to be able to show you guys my screen along with me showing you it if that makes any sense next i just have photos pixar and youtube studio pixar amazing for editing like if you want a photo editor you can use it for thumbnails too who's that weird girl um it's really amazing honestly thumbs up two thumbs up next i have other which is just my pinterest Next, I have entertainment, which has YouTube, YouTube music, and Netflix, which I barely ever watch YouTube on my phone. I mainly watch it on my iPad. Next, I have utilities, which is, these are all super boring. I'll just get to the point. Um, the only things I really use on here is my app store, my clock, my color widgets, Genie, Google, Safari. That's just basic. Next, I have productivity and finance, which I use absolutely barely nothing in this, so. That, I don't want to explain it. Next I have education. Education is boring. I'm not going to explain it. Next I have information and reading. Um, that's all really boring except for the Bible. Um, then I have games. I've already explained. Health and fitness. I never use it. Um, travel. Never use it. Can't drive. <laughs> Sorry I went so fast. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to know what my lock screen looks like, this is what it looks like. 
Yeah, that's what my lock screen, like what you, when you get into my phone. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I love you all so much. I'm so sorry about the lighting, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening and I just love you.